Yes, I am. All right. Hey, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Rascal's first open mic of the year. Right before America's birthday. That's why I'm dressed so spectacularly tonight. Don't be jealous. Uh, I didn't know what jokes I was going to do. I was, I was too busy setting up and preparing and... And I, then I got caught up in not preparing for my set. So, uh, back when I was a kid, about like 15, 16 years old, like every day after school, I'd be sitting out on my front porch smoking a cigarette because Dragon Ball Z hasn't come on yet, and I really wasn't a big fan of Road Warriors. You know? So, uh, during this time, every single day, the, uh, the short bus would drive past my house, and inside that short bus, Nate Byerly, I don't know if Nate Byerly's here tonight, but if he is, he used to yell out, you used to yell to me every single day outside the window of the short bus, like, hey, you flipping retard. And I'm like, what do you mean, retard? I ride the regular size bus. You know, like, like, you get the luxury of getting dropped off and picked up right in front of your house every morning, every evening. I had to wait outside of the blistering cold on a corner with a bunch of strangers I didn't like. Wait a minute. Maybe I was the retard, you know? Like, this dude's getting, like, roadside service, dude. We're like, eh, Hopefully this thing comes sometime soon. Man, he was right the whole time, man. I've never, never thought about it till now. Um, anyone going through a breakup tonight? Hey, here. <laughs> Heck yeah, dude. Breakups are where it's at. Dude, I just went through a breakup. Uh, and, you know, it's... It's, it's, it's crazy, dude. Like, when you're going through a breakup, you always have that one friend that's always like, Hey, before you get back out there, you should learn how to love yourself. You should learn to love yourself more. And, like, I love myself every morning and most evenings, so I'm pretty sure I got that down pat. You know, like, I'm a professional at loving myself. <laughs> Um, but, no, but, uh, like, I dated a chick that was into dream catchers, dude. That was a freaking nightmare. I'd, like, it was what, like, uh, shit, dude, I forgot where I was at. Dream catchers, nightmare. Um, and then, like, you know, a couple weeks go by and that same person that was all like, you should learn to love yourself. Like, it's like, they're like, hey, I, I met a coworker, right? They're like, I think like you guys should like really hit it off, you know? Like, like it'd, be, it'd be really, you know, I think you guys would hit it off. But like, but first of all, I'm in the middle of loving myself. <laughs> Maybe call back in 30 minutes. You know, like, I, I decided, like, the next chick I'm going to date, dude, like, so we, we, we go out and order wings. She's got to be the type of chick that wants flats only, because she's already doing, like, used to doing more work for less meat. That's a small penis joke. Um, you know, like, I had to get rid of my uh, smartwatch. It was, it was just, like, a constant reminder of, like, how much of a lazy piece of shit I am. But, you know... It did have its, like, saving graces, you know? Like, we would be all like, great job on your workout! Like, immediately after loving myself. <laughs> you know, you gotta get that heart rate pumping somehow. <laughs> and I got, yeah, get the, you gotta get the kids out of here. <laughs> Justin, you're on it, bro. <laughs> um... So I was, I, I, I got into an argument with somebody about suicide, and like, I, I, have, I have ended up saying like, suicide is just like a cheat code to get, uh, beat the game quicker, and they're all like, 
And they got mad, you know? It's not like, I, I think they got it confused with like the Konami code, you know? Like up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, select, start, DA, whatever. But like, that code usually gives you more lives. So like, I get the confusion, you know? <laughs> Go, go, go home and play some Contra. Uh, well, how much time am I at? Is anyone timing anyone? I know, but like, I'm, 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 my camera's over there. I don't know, man. Uh, 5.33. What, 5.33? 5.37. Yeah, dude, we're, I'm gonna give everyone like eight minutes. I should have said that earlier. <laughs> everyone gets eight minutes. Um, so I was at the mall recently with a buddy of mine, and uh, we were walking past a Hot Topic, and I saw a really cool 311 shirt, right? And I was like, dude, I gotta get that shirt. They're like, and he's like, why, dude? 311 sucks. I'm like, yeah, I know. But like, I'm in a quest to own 311, 311 shirts. And so far, I'm at almost one. <laughs> Because every time I put that shirt down and down, I, I can get silly too. Um, um, <laughs> so like, I, back in school, dude, they had to like make you like learn cursive or whatever, and then you had to like read the the, the paper that you wrote in the cursive, and I was always terrible at it. Not that it was like difficult to read, but I could never get my voice to squiggle properly. <laughs> so, it didn't work. It sounded pretty good right there. A, a, fr <laughs> a, a friend of mine. Uh, said he was gonna quit gambling, and I bet him that he won it. But he said, "Game on." I still haven't gotten that five dollars. Uh, if she can't, if she can't handle you at your doodliest, dude, she doesn't deserve you at your diddliest. That's that's a lesson I learned from Ned Flanders. I'm gonna finish off with this one, dude. We're at war. We're at war, gosh darn it. Against the, against the boomer, or against all the oomers. There's a, like, there's a, there's a bunch of them. There's the groomers, the zoomers, and the boomers. And like, I don't even know what a zoomer is. I just assume it's someone who was like conceived during a group, like a video chat. <laughs> I, I, I don't know. And like, I'm so afraid of groomers, dude. I don't even want to give my dog a bath anymore. <laughs> it's, it's like it's been stinking up the place. But then, but boomers are the worst. Boomers are the absolute worst. Like boomers used to listen to Bob Dylan, and they're mad the times are still a changing. Boomers used to have coitus with uh, Vietnamese prostitutes and still don't know what a pronoun is. <laughs> and, like, you can't even talk about rape or incest around boomers because, like, that's, like, their just entire heritage. All right, guys, my name is Wiener. You're for, uh, your next comic of the day or the evening or whatever time it is. Give it up for the very funny Nick Sharp. I didn't expect to be up so soon, but I did sign number two. God.